Welcome to my lecture online. Here's another example for an entrance exam test around the world. And again, this is for the JEE advanced test. And typically, these are very difficult problems. Now here, in this particular case, if you can see through the problem, you can solve it very quickly. Note, there's a very quick answer to this problem, given the possible solutions. But let's read the problem. Let's find out what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a parallel plate capacitor that has area S and separation distance D. It has capacitance equal to C if there's air between the plates. Then there is dielectrics placed between them, dielectrics with relative permittivities. E1 is 2 and E2 is 4. So there's a small segment, one quarter of the dielectric up here has, has a, a rem, uh, permittivity equal to 4. And then the other one that, that occupies three quarters of the space between the plates has relative permittivity equal to 2. Now, here's the quick solution. Let's, for a moment, imagine that the whole dielectric was E1 and there was no E2, and the relative permittivity is equal to 2. Essentially, that doubles the capacitance. So if, so we can say that if all dielectric was equal to e, uh, E1, which is equal to 2, then the ratio C, uh, C2 over C is going to be equal to 2 to 1. Now take a look at the answers. Uh, this is less than 2 to 1, this is less than 2 to 1, this is less than 2 to 1, and this is more than 2 to 1. So right away, I would say that this is the only plausible answer, because then when you take a small section of that and replace it by even a, a dielectric which has even a larger permittivity, then the, the ratio would be greater than 2 to 1, and this is the only possible answer. I would just pick D and move on. Now, if you're concerned and say, well, not so fast, I want to see the actual result, you can then say that the following, you can say that C2 is equal, is equal to, uh, that would be equal to C1, well, actually, I'll write it like this, C2 is equal to C times, now we're going to place in the dielectric, for the bottom part, we use the product over the sum, so it's going to be E1 times E1 over E1 plus E1 plus the product of, over the sum E1 times E2 over E1 plus E2. That turns out to work. Actually, you want to put a one half and a two uh, with each one of those, um, those fractions, but we'll just skip that part and let's plug in the numbers and see what we get. C times E1 times E1, which is two times two over two plus two, plus E1 times E2, which is 2 times 4, 4, over 2 plus 4. So that would be equal to C times 4 over 4, which is 1 plus 6, uh, 8 over 4. That would be uh, 8 over 6, 8 over 6, which if we simplify that, we get C times 6 over 6 plus 8 over 6, which is equal to C times 14 over 6, which is equal to C times 7 over 3. And there's the ratio. In other words, you could say that C2 over C, when we bring the C down, is equal to 7 over 3, which indeed was answer D that we were seeing there in the first place. We knew that was the correct answer, and this is how we can show you why it's the correct answer. So, that's actually one that can crack off real fast, realizing if all of this was E1, with a relative permittivity equal to 2, then you simply double the capacitance and none of the A, B, and C answers satisfy that, only D satisfy it, so that is the logical response. Circle it, move on if you're short of time and you'll be in good shape. And that is how it's done. How long did it take me to do the whole thing? Four minutes. Four minutes, so, yeah. Four and a half. Okay. All right, that's the end of this for now.